Hey guys, welcome to the channel Economics at a Glance. Today we will deal with the concept that is income consumption curve. Okay, well many have told that they have doubt in this concept. So this is my try to let you all clear regarding income consumption curve. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, what is income consumption curve or income effect? Basically it is the change in consumers purchase due to change in money income that means when your money income changes what change occurred in your purchasing behavior that is called income effect or income consumption curve okay before moving to the concept let's just give a brief of new concept that is see this is uh, what this is this is budget line right so this is budget line and this is your indifference curve and this is your equilibrium point this thing we have already covered when the price of one commodity let's say x increases or decreases what happened when the price of one commodity changes the budget line will rotate yes or no so the position of indifference curve also changes yes or no so this is generally due to a effect that is called as price effect okay and price effect is equals to income effect plus substitution effect okay so price effect we will deal with later because individually first we will cover what is income effect what is substitution effect after knowing this two effect individually we will go to this price effect yes or no okay so let's see what is income consumption curve or income effect okay uh, we have known the definition what is income effect what is income consumption curve graphically we will show because graph is very important in this concept okay so let's say we will take two normal good let's uh, take uh, shoe in x-axis and clothes and clothes in y-axis okay fine shoe in x-axis clothes in y-axis this is your budget line and this is your indifference curve and the point of tangency what I have called it is consumer equilibrium that means at this position the consumer has operated okay so let's say in this amount of income the consumer have purchased two clothes and two shoes okay now I will tell you now the consumer income has been increased okay when your income increases what you will do you will purchase more thing yes or no suppose I will tell your income has been increased in case of income increase what happens budget line shift so here your budget line shifts okay now your indifference curve will also shift why because you will purchase more let's say your indifference curve shifts to here okay so this is the point which shows that when your income increases you will go for purchasing three clothes and three shoes right why because your income has already been increased now again your incre your income got increased see again your income got increased and the indifference curve here it is another one which shows you will go on purchasing more clothes and more shoes so these are q1 q2 and q3 if i will join this three point what it will be it is a straight line well this straight line is called income consumption curve getting my point when your income got increased your budget line got shifted and you will purchase more of both the two goods as a result of which the all the equilibrium point when it got joined the straight line that is called income consumption curve okay well another thing i have to add here that income consumption curve here is a straight line well it will be straight line only in three cases what are those cases first one first one in x axis and y axis both will be normal good second case in x axis you will take normal good y axis you will take luxury good and third x axis you will take luxury good and y axis you will take normal good well in these three cases you can find the straight line income consumption curve next thing we will discuss another good 
What is that? That is inferior good. Okay. Well, I have told you what is normal good, what is inferior good in the exception of demand. Yes or no? In my previous video, I have explained all this. If still you have not seen that, you can easily access because the link I have mentioned in the description box. Okay. See. Let's say we will take a normal good. Let's say uh, Adidas shoe. Okay. A uh, Adidas shoe and an inferior good. Let's say a local shoe. Okay. Adidas shoe is normal. Local shoe means it is having no brand. So it is inferior good. Okay. So in this amount of particular income you are consuming. Let's say uh, two local shoe and two Adidas shoe. Now I will tell your income has been increased. Do you think you will prefer to purchase more local shoe? No. You will prefer to purchase more Adidas shoe and less amount of local shoe. See, when income increases, your budget line will shift parallelly. So here what happens, the indifference curve will be tangent here. Why? Because you will prefer to consume more of Adidas shoe, that is normal good, and less of local shoe, that is inferior good. Okay, again if your income has been increased, again your indifference curve will lie downward. So what happens this equilibrium point if I will join it will be downward sloping. See here when you have taken inferior good in y axis normal good in x axis see first this is the indifference curve when your income increases it will decline again it will increases it will decline why because in every cases you are decreasing the inferior good purchase and increasing the purchase of normal goods. So the curve of in income consumption curve, it will be downward sloping. Okay. Similarly, what happened if you will take indifference, sorry, uh, inferior good in x-axis. See, uh, if you will take this Adidas shoe, just a minute. If you will take this Adidas shoe here, and local shoe here what happens exactly opposite see previously previously it was your budget line and here you are consuming now your income has been increased so your budget line has been shifted yes or no budget line has been shifted so what you will do purchasing more of adidas shoe and less of local shoe so what happens here will be your indifference curve that means purchasing more Adidas shoe and sorry and less local shoe. So what happens here? If you will take indif sorry uh, inferior good in x axis and normal good in y axis, what happens? See, it will go on upward sloping curve. Why? Because we will go on adding normal good and lessening the purchase of inferior good. Clear? Why it is show? So overly if I will show you the three goods or three cases in one graph, see it can be it will be a straight line when the case of normal good. It will be a downward sloping curve in case of when we, you will take inferior good in y axis. It will be upward sloping curve when in x-axis you have taken the inferior good. Okay. So this is all about the income consumption curve. Next we will cover the substitution effect. And after substitution effect I will move to price effect which is the combination of income and substitution effect. So till then stay with my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Another thing I will add here. I have added the PDF of the notes regarding this concept. You can watch and you can get the definition well there. Till then, thank you so much.